Hi, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer with Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Strategies. I'm Bob Powell. And Jeffrey, I've got a really hard question for you, I think. All right. That's, uh, that made him, I'm a little nervous now. Usually when you say it's a hard question, it's a hard question. So Well, it won't be we hard for you. It won't be hard for you. All right. So it goes like this. I have a 401k loan. Am I being mm-hmm. double taxed in some way? I put the money in pre-tax. I got the loan. I repay the loan with after-tax money that then gets taxed when I take withdrawals later on. Is that right? Ah, that is a great question. And, and what's really interesting is that this question is actually giving us the flip side of what the typical question I get is, is like, why don't I take the, uh, the loan? It's free money, right? I usually, oh, it's free money. I've never paid tax on this before. And now I'm able to take it and I still don't pay tax. Wow, this is amazing. And that actually, in, in my kind of retort by asking a question, is actually the answer to the reader's question. You're right. You are going to pay tax twice on those dollars because you've got to make money to pay back the loan that then goes back into your 401k that when you take out as a distribution later, you will once again pay tax on. But the flip side of that is when you put those dollars into your 401k the first time, you got a tax break, right? So you had an investment and put dollars into an account without paying taxes on them. And then when you took a loan, you got to go and take it out and spend that money without paying taxes at that time either. So with a 401k loan, you're actually getting a double tax break. You're spending dollars that you took a deduction for or saw your income lowered. So you're getting a double break. But of course, if you get a double break on the way out, you got to have double pain on the way in. And that's what you're seeing and experiencing right now. So the bad news is it's not a free ride like a lot of people think. It's not a huge benefit from a tax perspective. The good news, though, uh, for those in your situation is you're not being hosed by paying taxes twice. Right. You are, in a sense, paying taxes twice, but you did get the break up front twice to kind of accommodate this downside that you have from paying back the loan. It's all a part of the what makes sense for you, what doesn't, is this the only place you have it? And candidly, let's start there, which is if you've got other places to take the money from, they may be better. But oftentimes when people say, I'm going to take a 401k loan, it's precisely because they don't have other options. And so while it's good to prepare for what will happen down the road. In other words, it's good to know what your tax liability is going to be or your responsibility when you put this money back in. And then when you take it back out again and pay tax twice, to your point, it is perhaps not a, uh, it is perhaps a moot point if you need those dollars, right? If you need that money now for whatever reason, uh, I'm very, uh, as I often say, if you're worried about eating today, you'll figure out how to eat tomorrow, tomorrow. And so that's not to say we should ignore the future. You know, I'm a retirement oriented guy. I spend my life pushing people to think about, you know, 20, 30, 40 years into the future. But at the end of the day, there are experiences that some people have, which necessitate worrying more about today. Not everybody has the luxury of thinking about 20 and 30 and 40 years out all the time. So if that's a a, a situation that you find yourselves in and you do need to access your 401k for a loan, just be prepared, right? That if you take it out, you're seeing a double benefit by spending dollars today that you deducted earlier which means when you put those dollars back, you'll have to put them back with after-tax dollars. And then when they come out of the account as a regular distribution, you'll pay tax on them once again. Right. So the reader didn't ask this follow-up question, but would it make sense if you had the choice between using your traditional 401k versus a Roth 401k for the loan to avoid some of these issues? Uh You know, I would say you could certainly avoid some of these issues, but the Roth 401k is probably where you have your more aggressive investments because it's growing tax free. And so, you know, given even just today's interest rates, but interest in general, you're probably going to have that be a low return. People look and say, oh, I'm paying myself interest. But yes, you are. But in the Roth portion of your account, you often want to have the positions that give you the greatest opportunity for growth. And so looking big picture, if I had those choices, I think more often than not, I'd still have that be my traditional 401k. 
And I treat it as a, you know, there, there's two elements here. There's your portfolio impact and your personal cash flow impact. The portfolio impact, I just look at that as a bond. You're paying yourself back some sort of regular interest. It's going to accrue on your account balance. Uh, but if you're taking that from the Roth, you're taking money out of the account that's growing tax-free. And I've, I have an account growing tax-free. I want the things that will grow the most to be in that account so that over time I get the most amount of dollars out of the account tax-free as possible. All right. Jeffrey, once again, batting a thousand, nailed it. We much appreciate you uh, answering our reader's question here on Ask the Hammer. Of course. And we, we want more questions. So uh, if you have a question that you'd like to ask Bob or myself, please reach out to us. Let us know. You can do that by emailing us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that email address is askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And with any luck, Bob and I will be answering that question on another one of our episodes real soon. Thanks so much.